Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Rachel if you're new here and today I've got a really exciting video. I today received in the post a beauty box and this is a subscription box from a makeup group I'm part of on Facebook and it's really exciting because we were told sort of what would come in it and it's a really great group to be part of. It's called Makeup Community UK and I've been so looking forward to it ever since, ever since I ordered it. I knew it would be brilliant so I can't wait to crack into it. I've not actually opened it before this video ha has, before I'm filming now. Um, so this is the first impression you're going to see my actual reaction and um, let's get into it. So it comes in this gorgeous um, gold metallic spotty bag and it's really really cute. It's got a little um, sticker on there with the group's sort of logo, Makeup Community UK and I've just off camera cut into the box here and, and there's a box on the inside. Again off camera I've just cut open the tape that's kept it closed and if I open it up there is some black tissue paper with another logo sticker on the top it's really really cute really really pretty there's some notes here um, about my box because I filled in a survey before it was sent to me just basically saying if there's anything that I don't want to have in the box and I had specifically asked for no heavily scented skincare because it does cause my skin to break out. I am highly sensitive so I shouldn't have any of that in here. So it is, it is good when you sign up that you fill in a survey of all your preferences, just answer some questions about the products that are likely to be in the box. So I'll go through all of that details at the end of the video once I've shown you what's in it. So if I open up the tissue, we have a bag in here and a load of multicolored noodles that I'm probably going to get everywhere right now. Here we go, let me just hold it up for the camera. And it is a tote bag with the group logo on it, Makeup Community UK, Beauty Lies Within. This is really, really cute, it's really gorgeous and it's such a cute way to present the box with all of the goodies inside. So I'm going to get the first thing out and mm, that doesn't smell too overpowering. It's a little bath bomb with what looks like a little gingerbread man on it. It does smell faintly like gingerbread. I don't know if you can kind of see. There we go, the camera focuses. There we go and it's got sort of glittery top on it with a little gingerbread man with a little blue bow tie. So I do really, really love baths. I love having a bath. It's one of my favourite things to do in the world. It's one of the ways that I relax, one of the very few ways that I find that I can relax. So I'm looking forward to chucking that in the bath and seeing what happens. And yeah. So next thing I've got in here, I'm just going to reach in and pull the next thing out, is a pull of plastic wrapping off it. So the next thing that's come in the box is a L'Oreal eyeshadow palette quad. Uh, it's sort of a blue themed one. The colour is um, Les Ombres. I think that's the name of the shades, I'm not sure. Um, but it's just a very sort of bright blue turquoisey quad which you could create a quite lovely smoky eye. There's four colours in here. Obviously Rachel, it's a quad. And we've got a really shimmery light champagne colour, the bluey greeny um, sky blue colour and two deepening shades. One's quite blue and the other one is quite a deep black colour. So I'm looking forward to trying that. The swatches worked out quite well so I'm looking forward to seeing how that translates onto the eye. So next thing we've got is a L'Oreal Super Liner Ultra Precision and I think this is in the colour turquoise and it's sort of a quite a deep blue metallic eyeliner. Now I don't have any coloured liquid liners so I'm looking forward to trying this out because this is something that could really add to the look I create with the blue eyeshadow quads. That was really well thought out so I think I can create a really beautiful look with that. I'm looking forward to trying it. The swatch worked out quite well 
and I've never actually tried these. I'm, I don't think I've ever seen anybody use them, but that doesn't mean to say that they're no good. I'm looking forward to trying them out and seeing what I think. The next thing I've got is a little milky bar bunny. So nice little bit of chocolate in there. I'm looking forward to eating that. I'm gonna watch a movie tonight. Probably a chick flick like Matilda or something. Something just light-hearted. I'm feeling a light-hearted movie tonight. So I think I'll sit on the couch with a cup of tea eating that. So rock and roll night for me. So the next thing I got in here is a cream eyeshadow by Maybelline. It's the Maybelline Colour Tattoo 24 Hour and it's a leather effect one. I've got quite a few of the colour tattoos and I do really like them. I do like the formula, like the way they perform and I generally like the colours. I don't have all of the colours of course. And this is in the shade Chocolate Suede. It's quite a deep chocolatey metallic colour. I think it would look great for a base as a smoky eye or just all over the lid and just smoked out in the crease. Um, you don't generally need to put anything on top of these. They don't crease on your eye. Um, they don't crease on your eyelids so they do work really really well on their own and I'm looking forward to trying that out with a smoky eye at some stage and seeing how it does because I don't have any of the darker colours. So I've it has been on my to buy list and it saved me a job so I'm really happy with that. Next thing I have got in here is a Tony Moly eye mask. I'm real pomegranate mask sheet elasticity. I've heard of Tony Moly. I know that they're a Korean skincare brand. I've heard lots of great things. I've not actually seen anybody using this particular eye mask, but I've seen the likes of Shanexo using quite a few of their products. So I'm quite looking forward to trying it. I've never tried Korean skincare, so I'm intrigued to see what it's all about. So I think this will be used alongside having a bath with the bath bomb. So I've got a relaxing night ahead of me probably at the weekend. Next we have a Maybelline Baby Lips Winter Delight in this shade Sweet Apple. This is a tinted lip balm. I've never actually tried any of the Baby Lips line. Um, it's not something I've ever thought to go for, but this is a tinted sort of rosy, reddy, pinky, raspberry-ish, I'm crap at describing shades, um, lip balm. It does leave a tint on the lips and it does smell quite like spiced apple. So if you're a fan of Christmassy sort of scents, I think you would like this. Next thing we have is the Maybelline New York Water Shine Gloss. This is in the shade, I don't know what shade this is, it doesn't say. Anyway, it's the Maybelline Water Shine Gloss and this is sort of a nudie, a clear, a clear glitter gloss with a sort of nudie tint to it. It's very pretty, it smells very fruity, it smells, it just smells gorgeous. Um, it smells like higher end lip glosses to me. I have never seen this so I'm really looking forward to trying it. It does smell gorgeous and the wand is a slightly different sort of wand to what you normally get. It's got sort of a flat side to it. It's sort of like a spatula type shape which I'm kind of living for. Let's dig in here. There's two things left. And the next thing that we've got is the Maybelline Color Drama Intensive Intense Velvet Lip Crayon in the shade 630 Nude Perfection. This is an intense velvet lip crayon and it is a gorgeous sort of true nude sort of colour. It isn't really really light which I like because I don't want something that will wash me out being so pale and it does feel really really soft to the skin and I do really really like the colour. I've not tried these before either so I'm looking forward to trying this. I have so many nude sort of lip colours and lip liners so there's so many things I can try this with and it's another one to add to the collection. The last thing in my box is the Colourpop collaboration with Alexis Wren. It's one of the ultra satin lips. The colour that I got was the Bare Necessities and this I, th I find that the name is a little bit misleading. I mean, it is sort of on the neutral side. It is a nudish sort of colour, but I'd say that it's, it's very rosy with a hint of orange to it. 
Now I do love Colourpop's um, Ultra Satin Lips, I love the formula, I just love everything about it. I do actually really love this packaging, this limited edition packaging as well, so I'm looking forward to trying this. The colour is right up my street, it's the sort of thing that I would wear, so I am so so pleased with this. So that's everything that I got in my box this month. I am so pleased with it. It actually exceeded all of my expectations and I know what I was expecting was going to be great. My expectations have just been blown out of the water. I mean this is better presented than a lot of boxes that are made by companies. I'm actually really impressed with how cohesive all of the products are to each other. Like um, there's a couple of things that are sort of for bath and grooming and just making yourself feel nice. I mean, as a girl who doesn't love that, especially if you're on a certain evil time of the month. Some chocolate and there's lots and lots of makeup because we do love our makeup. It's a makeup group after all. And just for a little bit of information about the group, it's called Makeup Community UK. It is a Facebook based makeup group. And the girl who started it, her name is Eve and she just has a passion for all things makeup and not only that she has a passion for selling makeup within the group and nobody's allowed to sell anything more than at a price higher than the retail price so people cannot be ripped off it is very closely monitored to make sure that nobody does rip anybody off and we've had so many safe transactions take place within the group it is a very friendly place to just gather and talk about makeup or buy some things off other girls or do swaps or anything like that. There's very regular competitions and raffles and everything to get involved and the monthly box is a new thing. This is the first one and I wasn't expecting there to be so many individual products and let's just get to the nitty gritty. The actual product, the actual box is sold for £17 plus £3 postage and Mine came very quickly, it came within three working days, um, which is pretty great really. To sign up, there are posts on the group, I will link the group down below. The boxes get posted about very regularly and it gives you all the instructions on how to sign up. You basically fill in a survey and this will just include little things like your likes, dislikes, um, things that you don't necessarily want in the box. and if you're going to get a colour, what types of colours you do like. So it does take your preferences into consideration and that has been demonstrated with this box here. You'll notice inside my box there is a little note here saying that um, there, there are to be no heavily scented skincare products. I did ask for that when I filled in my survey under the section asking if there's anything that I would prefer not to have in the box. I did list heavily scented skincare products because like, my face just can't handle them. I'm very very sensitive and I have had none come so I'm really happy with that. Just to give, I've just given you a, a short overview of everything that we do in the group. Please do see the link down below and do join us on Facebook. We do regular American orders and the, the likes of Kylie Lip Kits, Juvia's Palettes, um, Colourpop, all that sort of good stuff. Anything that you can order from America we can get and you won't be ripped off. Generally you'll pay the price that you pay in dollars but in pounds so it's $28 you pay £28 plus customs at 20% and then postage so generally it will be cheaper than ordering it yourself through Royal Mail and getting slapped with the £8 post office fee as well. Please do see it down below. I hope you enjoyed this video, I hope you enjoyed this unboxing. If you did please give me a thumbs up, subscribe down below if you haven't already and I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye guys! Yeah.